Hello there folks and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey into men's style, self-development and personal grooming. And you join me at the bleakest point of midwinter. It is cold, it is damp, the festive season is behind us, Christmas has gone. What do we have to look forward to? Well, we have a new year, new beginnings, new adventures, but right now, this moment, we have the prospect of the sales, where all of the large uh, retail outlets will be selling off their items at a reduced rate because it's that traditional time of year where the sales come to give us our best potential value as consumers. And like most chaps, I will be there waiting to pounce when I see the deals that I seek. But it's not as easy as you might think to bag a bargain in the sales. And today, I have some tips that should help you towards your own journey of success when you get those discounts and sales at your fingertips. Okay, so as I, I start to warm myself up by the fire, here are my tips for buying success. And my number one tip is plan ahead because your success in the sales begins a long, long time ever before you walk into any store or log on to any website. It begins at home because you need to know exactly what you want to buy. Otherwise, if you wander into a store and you have, an, uh, you have no specific idea what you're going to purchase, this is where you'll end up buying those things which are actually of no use to you at all. So, what I recommend you do is go to your wardrobe, open it up and stand there and drink in the things that are already lined up on the racks and decide what it is you actually need. You need, all right? Not you want, not you desire, you need it. You might think, okay, looking at my wardrobe, the thing which is deficient at the moment, I don't have a lovely tweed jacket. I did a video on tweed jackets a while ago. If you're a gentleman, you have to have one in your wardrobe. You might need a blazer. You might need some new, uh, I don't know, gray flannel slacks to complete the capsule wardrobe that you know you really want. So how do you go about it? Well, you get out a sheet of paper or your notebook and you make a list. And these are the items that you will have with you in your mind when you enter the store or log onto that website for the sales. And don't forget, think ahead as well. Remember, a lot of the stores will be selling off things which haven't shifted in the last 12 months. Even though it's the middle of winter, they may be selling off summer suits, linen suits, things that you wouldn't ordinarily gravitate towards at this time of year because it's out of season, but they will be the things to get at the remarkable prices. So think about what you may want in the year ahead. So if you encounter a wonderful linen suit, you can pounce and perhaps get those wonderful deals of 75% off, and then you can genuinely get a bargain. But if you make a list, it will save you deviating off and being seduced by these so-called deals, and you'll end up buying things that you don't really need. But it won't happen if you make a list. Now, my second tip for getting a bargain is to really know your measurements, all right? Because when you go into these stores, you know what it's like, there's a big scrum going on, everybody's throwing stuff around, they're all digging through the things to try and get the best deals. Or even if you're online, you know, you'll have a short amount of time before the best deals will be all sold out. So you need to act rather quickly. If you're going into an actual physical store, the last thing you wanna do is waste time by having to try things on. You need to know your exact measurements. And one of the best ways to do that, again, it's all about planning ahead. One of the things I recommend is to go to an actual tailor and get them to take your professional measurements, right? get them to professionally measure you. You might be going through life thinking, do you know what, I'm a 34 waist, I'm a 42 chest, but you may not be, all right? You might be lying to yourself. That is not necessarily going to be the size that fits you best. So go into a tailor and get them to measure you. Now this will involve booking a consultation session with them. It might cost 20 pounds, 30 pounds. But once you've had those measurements professionally taken, you know 
that whatever you buy is exactly going to fit. Your tailor might say, actually, you fall between two sizes. So buy the next size up, bring it in, and I can tailor it perfectly for you. It's far better than buying something which is too small and having to suck your belly in every time you wear it. So get yourself professionally measured so you know exactly what size is to go for and you also get the knock-on effect that if you ever decide to have any made-to-measure made to clothes made, you've already got your professional measurements to hand. They're there for the future when you need them. Now my next tip is set a spend limit, all right? It is so easy to go to the sales and think, okay, I'm gonna spend 150 pounds, that's all. You go in there, you see a pair of shoes that are 250 pounds, and you think, whoa, that is a fabulous saving. It was 500, I'm gonna buy them right now. You've blown the whole budget on something which you didn't intend to buy. And it is very easy to be seduced by these alluring deals that look so sparkling and wonderful. You'll make the purchase, and then you won't be able to buy the things you intended to buy when you set out that day. So set yourself an absolute spending limit and agree with yourself that you're not going to deviate away from it. That way you won't overspend. Now my next tip is to keep calm. Remember, if you will, the old Rudyard Kipling poem, If, which begins, if you can keep your head while all those around you are losing yours. And that is something which is well worth remembering when you're entering the foray of the sales. Because it is very easy to be dragged along by the euphoria of seemingly saving lots of money. There will be queues outside these stores waiting for the doors to open. People will rush in. They will start grabbing armfuls of things. If you're on a website, you know, there will be countdowns to the sales beginning at midnight. You'll be queuing there, you'll be waiting, and you will make decisions faster than you would ordinarily do so if given time to process the things which are in front of you. This is how people end up buying patent leather yellow brogues, which they never get to wear ever again because they've seen what they think is an irresistible price, a marvelous saving, and they feel that they have to jump on it straight away because if they don't, somebody else will buy it. And that is how people end up spending more money which they intend and also buying things they don't really need. So don't forget, keep you're calm, be level-headed. Remember what you've gone there for. You've got a list and you've also got a price limit. This will mean you end up buying the things that you want. Now my tip number five is to do your research. Make sure these sales are genuine and what's in front of you is a really good discount, you know, a deal that is worth buying. Because, you know, some of these stores, they, they sort of bully the sales up to make it appear better than they really are. You might be in the store. You might be looking at this wonderful overcoat that you've wanted to buy for ages, and now you see it's reduced by 15%. Before you make that purchase, before you pull the trigger, go online and have a look if it's available anywhere else. Even if it means standing there with your mobile phone, doing an internet research uh, check while you're there, it might seem cheap, 15% off, but on their website, there might be an online special deal. It might be 25% off, 20% off. Don't just think because it's physically there that is the cheapest price that you can find. Do your research first. Now, my next tip is let's not forget about other discounts as well. Now, it is fair to say that many of the retailers suspend their normal discounts during the sale period. You know, if there are discounts available for your membership of certain groups, for instance. You know, if you're a veteran, if you're military, if you're a member of the emergency services or a first responder or, some, or key worker, anything like this, they tend to attract special discounts. But as I say, they tend to be also suspended during the sale period, but it's always worth asking. So if, again, let's go back to our overcoat that we've always wanted. We've got it now, we're sure this 20% off deal is marvelous. Let's go up to the floor supervisor and say to them, look, you know, I'm a, I wanna buy this, uh, this overcoat. Tell me, do you still extend your uh, veterans discount scheme during the sale period? They might say no, 
But they might say, yeah, of course we do, sir. That's an extra 15% off. It's worth asking, what does it cost just to ask? Now, my tip number seven is hold out for an even better price. Don't forget, most of those items which are discounted in the sales, the stores, they want to get rid of them, right? At the end of the sale period, they don't want anything left there because anything which isn't sold, they've either got to sell on to uh, through the sort of wholesale market to retailers like uh, TK Maxx or things like that, or they've got to dispose of them. And it's far better for them if they can sell them. And you will find that after the initial flurry of the early sales, many of the items which aren't sold quickly will be further discounted. <coughs> and this is where you will get some remarkable prices. This is where those 75% discounts come into being because the stores, they want to get rid of them. They want to shift them. They want them gone. Now, this is often the time where being something of an unusual size will be your favor because regularly, most of the items which are of normal size, so if you're a 34 to 36 waist, a 40 to 44 chest, most of those items will be sold swiftly because that is the size of the average human being in this day and age. But if you're a little bit smaller or a little bit larger, if you're a 30 waist or a 32 waist or a 38 or a 40 chest, you might be in luck because those are the items that will be hanging around at the end and will be savagely discounted before the retailer closed down their sales. So if you are in one of those categories, slightly larger, slightly smaller, slightly unusual shape, don't forget things can be tailored. If you can get 75% off a suit and it's a little bit too large for you, you can take it to the tailors and have it amended to fit you. And you'll still be saving 50% off the original retail price. So think about those options, hold out for the best possible prices. Now my penultimate tip is to avoid the stress and stay at home. Because don't forget, most of these retailers will also be running a simultaneous online sale. So if you happen to live miles away from a big city, right, rather than jumping in your vehicle, driving for an hour, which is expensive on fuel, when you get there, you've got to pay for parking. Sometimes depends on where you go. That is an additional cost. You're going to be there all day. You'll probably buy a coffee. Another, what, three, four, five pounds? You'll probably buy lunch, 10, 15, 20 pounds. Then you'll drive home, your fuel for the day might be 25, 30, 40 pounds. Even before you start making any savings, you've got to take into account the cost of your journey, which is likely to be 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds. When you add it all up, you've not saved anything at all. All you've done is encountered a load of stress by queuing at these stores, fighting with people to get the best deals, maybe you know, then having to go back and exchange them if they don't fit properly. So you're going through that whole expensive process again. Far better to stay at home and make those purchases online. Wait for the post person to deliver them, try them on. If they don't fit, send them back. It doesn't cost you anything. If they do fit, you've won. You've spent no money on travel, on your expenses for the day, and you've achieved the same goal. Now, my final tip for you is my golden rule when it comes to sales, and that is this. Remember, something is only a genuine bargain if you were going to buy it anyway at full price, and yet you manage to achieve it at a discounted price. That is a genuine bargain because you've really saved money, because you were going to buy it anyway, or you wanted to buy it anyway, and you've managed to buy it more cheaply. If you go to the sales and you buy something that you weren't going to buy, well, it's not a bargain, because you've bought something you didn't intend to do so before you went to the sale. That's not a bargain, that's an ordinary purchase, and you can't chalk that up as a success against the retailers. So go out there with the right mindset, with all of the tools that I have given you today, and you are likely to find things that will enhance your gentleman's wardrobe. It will make you look more 
chap than you've ever been before and you will have that wonderful glowing satisfaction that you've done so at a reduced cost which I don't know about you but it always makes me feel incredibly better when I get things for a knockdown price. Well there we are folks I hope you've enjoyed my tips today which should help you achieve bargain success when you go to the sales. If you have I would be absolutely made up if you gave us a thumbs up to show me that you've enjoyed the video and if you're not already a subscriber click the red button and come on the Chaps Guide journey with us in the future and if you would like to practically support the channel you can buy me a coffee. I'm going to leave a link to the buy me a coffee Chaps Guide page down below where you can go and buy me a coffee and every week I update specific material only for the people who support me at the buy me a coffee page. So until the next time take care of yourselves, have some good luck in those sales and bag those bargains that you've always wanted and I will see you again very soon.